Hello, welcome to mycadsite.com and this is the second part of the computer room project and this one deals with drawing everything and the first part dealt with setting up the drawing, the limits and the units and the layers and with everything set up we should be ready to draw now so I'm on the walls layer and this is what we're drawing, it's got some walls and all the dimensions are on lesson 2-1 at mycabsite.com and the desks are in the middle of the room so as everything I draw I try and start with the most uh, concrete objects and in this case it would be the walls so I am going to start drawing the walls first and I'm going to use direct distance entry and I'm going to make sure I'm on the right layer and I'm not too concerned where I start with so I'm just going to make sure I'm comfortable that it's going to fit on the drawing so I'm just going to use a line and using architectural units and direct distance entry I'm going straight up 30 feet and over 41 feet and I'll just continue my way around the perimeter of the building and all these dimensions like I say are set up uh, previously in the sample drawing on my CAD site and from here I just finish around and enter in the last uh, dimension and then use the close option C enter to go back to where I started now the walls on this unit are six inches so I'm going to offset each of my walls six inches towards the middle and then once I have all these in place I just zoom in with my scroll wheel there to get everything done and now I want to fillet them with a zero radius which I'm entering there and this gives me the nice sharp corners that I need for the walls zoom out with my scroll wheel and back in zoom out and in and it's all part of moving around the drawing efficiently and here I go and my walls are now done now the next major part is the doors so I want to take care of those make sure I put them in properly and I just offset lines that I'm going to later trim so I've offset 12 inches sorry yes 12 inches to where the door opens and then 2 feet 8 for the door width and then I just trim it away and there's my door opening and I'm going to do the same while I'm at it for the two doors at the bottom and they're both 1 foot 6 in from each side so I'm going to offset those at the same time and now I can change my offset distance to 2 feet 8 and offset those. So now I've got everything in place for those. Once again all I need to do is trim up my doors and they didn't work so I just have to go in there and make sure I get them accurately and there we go. So now I have the walls and the door openings in place now at this point I'm going to put in the doors and I'm just going to zoom in and make sure that I'm on the door layer and a lot of times you might use a block which you'll read about in later lessons but in this case I'm just going to take a rectangle and rotate it 45 degrees to show that it's a door opening and to get the arc that's shown in the drawing I'm actually in this case just going to use a circle from the base point of the door what I call the hinge point and then I just trim it off from the back of the door to the wall and there's my arc and once again I'll do the same thing here starting with a rectangle for my door and rotate it and just using polar settings I rotated it 45 degrees and now once again I'm just going to trim the circle off like so and since it's the same door that opens uh, a different way on the other end I'm just going to mirror it using the midpoint of that wall and so now I've got my wall set in place on the bottom left corner as well so the next things I want to put in are the columns and there's four of them in this drawing two at the top and two at the bottom and they are both centered one is an 11 foot offset and the other is a 15 foot offset from that so once again I will start with my uh, offsets 
and 11 feet and then 15 feet and now there's my center point so now I'm just going to offset them six inches off each way to get the one foot width that is required and now that I have those I'm also going to offset the bottom line six inches and then I've offset the top one 12 so those are all the lines and I'm going to put that on my column layer which is unfortunately very hard to see in the video and I will change that later so I'm just going to trim everything up and I think you just have to trust me here they are actually there and you can just see them faintly but I am trimming it up just like I did with the walls and the doors trim command start with your uh, trimming edges and then with the objects to be trimmed and here I'm just erasing the lines in the middle these were part of the original uh, lines that I did and now a zoom extends so I can see the full drawing again now just so you can see that I actually did create the columns I am just going to set this to a new color and these will show up a lot better for you so now with those in all I need to do is put in the desks and I've put that onto the furniture layer and all the desks are two feet wide by five feet long so I'm just going to start a rectangle and put that in at five feet comma two feet using relative coordinates and to get the rows here I am just going to start the array command and I need two rows of four columns in this case and I will select my desk and uh, one way of getting the offsets is I can also just pick it because I want them all right next to each other I've just picked the two corners of the desk now they're there where I need them and I accept the, what the arrays have given me and from there I'm just going to need to copy them up to get the second set of eight desks and I'm copying them up here uh, seven feet and right away I've noticed that I actually should have done it nine feet so I'm just going to move them up again that same set and move them up two feet just picking on the height of the desk and now just confirm that that that's five feet and I don't have my dimensions set up and that's set to 60 inches which would be the same as five feet and from there all I need to do is copy up another row and there's no dimension set for that so I'm just going to move them up there and copy a single desk over so I can rotate it and once again there's no measurements for where it needs to be and there's one more desk that needs to be in the drawing so I'm just going to copy this desk over and we're done so there you see everything's drawn quickly using just the basic commands that you were shown in the first level of tutorials at mycadsite.com so with these simple things you can draw a lot of different floor plans so stay tuned for more tutorials and thanks for watching